At six, a local school district is suing several social media platforms, accusing them of being harmful to the mental health of young people. This comes on the heels of several other school districts of the, that have done the same, including Seattle Public Schools. Uh, Fox 12's Drew Reeves is live this morning. Drew, I have two teenagers. I can tell you the, the impact of social media on kids is something we talk about all the time. What is this lawsuit all about? Well, the Jervis School District is suing some of the largest social media platforms that there are. That includes Meta, which owns Facebook and Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, Google, YouTube, the list goes on. But it is saying that they are harmful to the uh, mental health of young people here in America and have created a mental health crisis in our country. Now, in that lawsuit, they claim that these platforms specifically target young people and take advantage of them to keep them coming back to their platforms. It says that social media companies have designed their platforms to exploit the psychology and neurophysiology of young people to make them spend more time on their platforms so that they can sell more ads for profit. The lawsuit adds that the content uh, that is often targeted to teens is harmful. The district tells us its motivation for the lawsuit is to get social media sites to make changes in how they design their platforms to stop negatively targeting youth. But the district also says it's suing because it claims dealing with mental health issues caused by social media has put a strain on resources and affected their ability to educate students. The district says these issues were made even worse after students returned to school from the pandemic. Fox 12 reached out to these social media platforms, but we only only heard back from Snapchat. The company says that it has worked to expand mental health resources within its app and also says that the app is important for young people to be able to communicate with their friends. In a statement, the company said, nothing is more important to us than the well-being of our community. At Snapchat, we curate content from known creators and publishers and use human moderation to review user-generated content before it can reach a large audience, which greatly reduces the spread and discovery of harmful content. We also work closely with leading mental health organizations to provide in-app tools for Snapchatters and resources to help support both themselves and their friends. We are constantly evaluating how we continue to make our platform safer, including through new education features and protections. Now, Seattle Public Schools also filed a similar lawsuit in January against many of the same tank giants behind these social media platforms. It blamed the companies for worsening mental health and behavioral issues for young people. Now, the Jervis School District says that it wants to hold these social media sites accountable and says that it finally felt that it was time to say enough is enough. Reporting live in Vancouver, Drew Reeves, Good Day, Oregon.